Hi friends. So I'm very happy to be seeing you again. And today we are going to be rereading the book, Peter's Chair. So if you all remember, you know it was about Peter and having to give away some of his old toys and his chair to his baby sister, Susie. So we can start rereading this book today. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. So if you friends remember what the word stretch means, it's when you have to stretch your arms and legs very tall or very far to be able to kick something or reach something. What does it look like Peter is stretching to? It looks to me that he's stretching to be able to place his toy crocodile on top of his tower of toys. And here you see his dog, Willie, is sitting. Crash, down it came. Shh, called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Look, if you see Peter's face, his eyes are wide and his eyebrows are raised. He looks a little worried to me. Maybe he's a little worried that he has to be quiet because there's a new baby in the house. And here you see his dog, Willie, who woke up and crashed and knocked down all of his toys, including his toy crocodile. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. A cradle, if your few friends remember, is a special bed for a little baby because babies are a little bit too small to sleep in a bigger bed. So they painted Peter's old cradle pink for his baby sister and Peter and his dog are looking in the room, right here. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, whispered Peter. And if you see Peter's face, his eyebrows are down low and his nose is scrunched up, he looks a little angry. Maybe he's a little angry that he has to give away his old toys. And look, his dad got a little dirty from painting the chair pink. And here are him and Willie. He saw his crib and muttered, my crib, it's painted pink too. Not far away sit his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. So I think Peter's going to do something that's going to try and stop his parents from giving his old chair to Susie painting it pink. He picked it up and ran to his room. Look how fast him and the dog Willie are running. Let's run away, Willie, he said. Peter filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue chair, my toy crocodile, and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. So his eyes are wide and his eyebrows are raised. It looks like he's a little worried, maybe a little sad that he has to, he's going to try to run away because him and Willie are hugging also. They went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. So you see his bag, a picture of him when he was a baby, his chair, his toy crocodile, Willie and his bones, who looks like he's having a fight with the cat. And if you see this picture, it's the same picture that's on the cover of the book when Willie is looking at all of his things. And now we know that's because he ran away and is sitting in front of his house. But he couldn't fit in the chair. He was too big. Look, his eyes are wide and he's frowning. It looks like he's a little surprised. Maybe he's a little surprised that he doesn't fit in the chair anymore. So maybe he's gonna think, it, maybe it's time to give my chair to Susie because I can't even use it anymore. His mother came to the window and called, won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear, but Peter got an idea. So look, his mom wants him to come home, but Peter is pretending that he can't hear his mom. But he's going to have an idea, and I think I remember what his idea was.
was to have a little fun. Soon, his mother saw signs that Peter was home. Well, signs are maybe some hints or clues that Peter is home. What are some of the clues? You see Peter's shoes right here, and you see his crocodile toy, and you see his bag. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Look, the shoes are empty. Here I am, shouted Peter. So he played a little trick on her. He was being a little rascal. A little rascal is someone who's playing tricks. So he wanted his mom to think he was hiding behind the curtain when really he was hiding behind the dresser. Peter sat in a grown-up chair because he's a little too big for his old chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair for Susie. And look, he's smiling and his dad is smiling because their mouths are turned up and they, they look happy. I think Peter's happy to finally give his chair to Susie. And if you see right here, here is his mom. And here's the cradle, which is a little bed for the baby. And you see the little baby hand. That's Susie's hand. And they did. And here you see again, Peter and his dad are smiling. And they're a little dirty from painting the chair pink. And here goes Willie. It looks like he stepped in some paint and is running away. The end. So it's really great that by the end of the book, Peter was ready to share some of his old toys with his sister Susie and learn that it can be very nice to share. And I hope all you friends enjoyed the book. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over, I'm going to describe a couple of the vocabulary words that we talked about and maybe you can guess them. So we can start out with one word. What's an activity we did? Does anyone remember that was in the beginning of the book? It was something Peter did when Peter had to reach really high to do something and maybe we need to do it sometimes to be able to touch something. Do you, does anyone remember what you can do with your arms? You're right, if you get stretched and here you see Peter is stretching really high to put his toy on top of the tower. Another one, another vocabulary word that we can guess right now is one of the toys Peter was playing with and it was green and it is an animal that sometimes we see in the wild or we read about in books and it, it's a little bit spiky, uh, a little bit spiky on the back. Does anyone remember? You're right, a crocodile. Here you see Peter's toy crocodile and it's like a little bit spiky, his toy is on the back. And another word is a way Peter was feeling. And sometimes if you feel this way, it means you get really upset. Peter was very upset when he learned that all of his old things were being given to his sister Susie. Sometimes your, eyebrow, your eyebrows go down and your nose scrunches up and you're frowning. Does anyone remember what that emotion may be? You're right, it's angry. Just like Peter was angry when he found out that all of his old toys were being given to Susie, when he saw that his crib was being painted pink and his, um, his high chair is being painted pink. So the last word we are going to do is the word that we, my friend Lucy talked about last, last class. And it was something special for a baby. It was one of Peter's old toys that he had to give to his sister Susie and they painted it pink and it's a special place where babies sleep. It's a cradle. So here you see the cradle that they painted pink for Susie, Peter's parents. And this is where the baby Susie sleeps. So those are the vocabulary words we are going to do today. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you next time, friends. I'm really excited to see you again.